Now it's time to try some problems. Uh, once again, we've seen that with the discovery of the battery, we now have a formula for current. We have a steady flow of charge. I equals Q over T. And then Ohm found that V equals I times R. And we've also seen the power formula, starting with P is I times V, and then using Ohm's law, we get other variations of it. P is I squared R, and P equals V squared over R. Well, now it's time to practice with these formulas. So I will put up a question. And what you do is you read it through and identify. Is this an Ohm's law question? Is it a current question? Is it uh, a power question? Then figure out which formula works, solve the problem, and then uh, see what I did. Here's problem one. Hit pause and read it. When I come to a problem, I will underline the information that's given to me and what I need to find. So it says, what is the electric current? So they want me to find I. And they've given me, I see, charge and time. Well, experience tells me right away that this is just I is Q over T. And as you have these formulas memorized, and of course you can have this in front of you, uh, it's pretty obvious this is the one you would use. And so Q is the 2 coulombs, and the T is the 10 seconds. And a coulomb per second is an ampere. And again, that has to be memorized. So it's 0.2 um, amps. Now, I, I, I think they meant to have a dot after the 10, meaning two sig figs. If not, because it's not there, it would be just 0.2 amps. But let's try the next one. Here's the problem, and I want you to hit pause and then read it and try it. Now here, they want us to find resistance, and they've given us potential difference and current. So I have V, I, and R. Ah, Ohm's Law. V is I times R, and I'll write it down. Then I will solve for the unknown that they want me to find, which is resistance. R equals V over I. And then I plug the numbers in. And V, I see, is 6 volts. So that'll go in, no problem. And the current is 10 amps. And the resistance is measured in ohms. And so I'm going to get a 0.6. And the ohms is the symbol that looks like this. It uh, looks like a sort of a 60s hairstyle. <laughs> 0.6 ohms. All right, here comes number three. And again, as soon as you see the problem, hit pause, read it, and then try it. I approach the problem. It says an electrical appliance uses, and they give me something in watts. So I know that this is a power question. I have power. It's connected to a 120 volt line, and I say, okay, they've given me uh, volts. What is the resistance? Well, I have to say which power formula relates P, V, and R. And it will be the power is equal to V squared over R. Now they want me to solve for resistance though, but I'll write down the formula first. And then I'll solve for the resistance and I get R equals, and it's a V squared over P. And I know that my units will be ohms because it's resistance. And I'll put the numbers in. The volts is 1.2 and times 10 squared, and all of that is squared now. And then I divide by the 100 watts. And I'll work that out, and the answer you will get will be 1.44 times 10 squared, and it's ohms, that little symbol there. Well now it's try time to try lots of problems. 